Really, nowadays there is no respect for those of a higher standing. Be aware, I will confer with my father before our next encounter. Hello and welcome to my next video continuing our journey through the Minoan era. This video will be covering some more battles with King Minas. You see now, we got some more expansions. I have no buildings extra to build and therefore I'm starting to put these buildings from events. So to get some goods, some extra stuff per day while I have free space. But when I will need it for some buildings, I will of course remove them just to build what it's necessary. But as I told you, towards the end game, you will unlock a lot of free space and you will not need it. So you will use it for event buildings and it's already happening here for me in Minoan era. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the battle for Forgotten Wilds. Our first battle will be here against King Minas troops. And here, as you see, they have a wall, which is unfortunately unbreakable. Towards the end game, you will have these walls as well on the enemy side, but you will be able to break them. So what we're going to do here, we're going to stack up archers on the right side, obviously, just because cavalry is on the left. Cavalry, eh? Mm. Huh. And we're gonna put our cavalry on the left side so they will fight each other. Ziggler makes it back to his feet. Is he gonna deliver sweet? No, let's start the battle. As you see, we have a lot of troops there, so we need to heal those troops and we will smash a boulder on that side. So to help our troops advance further. Now my left flank and my right flank already reached the archers, which is very, very good. And now we're just fighting them off. Sadly, they cannot break the wall, but from other point of view, it's actually good because those walls usually just take time and the archers just demolish your army. Congratulations, another battle won. In this battle, we won 8,300 gold. Next battle, we're gonna dive into it against King Minas as usual. So these battles do not differ from one another. It's just the same amount of troops. Everything, completely everything the same, except for the layout of the enemy. I will just put my troops as usual, archers where there is no cavalry and cavalry where there is cavalry, because here we have the wall in the middle. And that's how we want to do, and there we go. Now our troops start fighting. We're gonna boost this side because it has cavalry and we're gonna throw a rock on the enemy cavalry there as well because they're actually strong now infantry will fall like two groups of archers and my infantry is fighting them but this side of the battlefield actually requires some assistance it can be clearly seen from that perspective congratulations another battle won for this battle we got 6400 food I must say, I like your goal. Yet this time, the son of Zeus will show you what a true leader can do on the battlefield. <laughs> Man, you've got happy feet. I'm about to shove my happy foot up your ass. The next battle is going to be battle for forgotten wilds against king minus troops as always and it's all basically the same we just use our infantry spread out here just because of the wall wall is kind of beneficial for us thanks for putting it there because then our troops act as we want them and Harold's rock makes the most of the damage. Now as you see we're gonna heal this part now where the horses are and throw rock on the other side because there is the most infantry gathered at the moment. And now while our troops break behind the wall to fight off the archers and one group of infantry which is stuck there for whatever reason, that's how we win the battle. Congratulations to us. In this battle, we won 6,800 food. Next battle for the Forgotten Wilds, we're gonna dive right into it and we're gonna see exactly the same, but this time we have a little bit different of a layout and we can use it to our advantage. Like you see, archers are barricaded behind that wall. That means they will not do much. And we can stack up our infantry like this, for example, we can put some archers and we can put some horses in the back because no need to run to the wall they cannot break. 
Let's start the battle. And what advantage gonna we, are we going to get here? We're going to heal only this area, so that means as much of our troops as possible, and also hit the boulder on them. Throw the boulder just on the big mass of enemies, which makes us very happy and makes the battle win easier. You see how many survived and they're advancing and advancing and advancing on the archers and now what we want to do is just use whatever extra skill we have from the commanders and the battle is won. Congratulations to us. Now in this battle we won 8300 gold coins. The last battle for Forgotten Wild is gonna happen here. We will fight off the last of the Minas troops on this territory and conquer it for ourselves. Now you see there is a wall again so we don't need to put our troops there, we will put just one, just one group of infantry on that side and all the rest we will stack up here as it is. And now our horsemen will go in the very far back. Starting off the battle, now it's very easy because we just need to heal one place, shoot one place and the most of the enemy archers just don't shoot because they are stuck behind that wall. So now our troops are advancing on them and I have full might of my army almost with me. So there is no chance they're gonna win us. Very easy to do, but maybe lost too much cavalry, but either way, it's okay. Congratulations, we won the battle. Now in this battle we won 9000 gold and let's see what King Minas has to say for us. Damnation, you seem to fox me at every turn. I have little choice left, but trust me, there will be a surprise at the end of this. Switch to night vision. 25 gears, thank you. And now we scout the next land, the Palace of Nobles. Then it is up to me to fight you, mark my words, if you win, I shall join you, yet if you lose, you must leave us in peace. Last battle for the Palace of Nobles against Minas will happen here, we will win him as the commander, he will join us if we win the battle and also will give us one expansion. Through this battle, enemy covers full of the battlefield with the cavalry so there is no place to hide that's why we're not gonna do it we're gonna spread our infantry just on the battlefield any way we see fit in the first line then we're gonna use archers somewhere like here and maybe here and then we put horses on the back so they have this cavalry stuff running into the enemy units now let's start off the battle now as you see archers were not harmed the horses ran for horsemen, even though they were in the middle line of the battlefield at that moment. And now my troops are just surrounding Minas and finishing this battle. Congratulations, we won King Minas finally in this war campaign. And we got 8,300 food for that. And let's see what Minas has to say for it. Well, all is fair in love and war, they say. You have bested me and my powers. This humble fisherman seeks to concede. Now we get this expansion and we get him as a commander. Now he's a very good commander. You will use him all the time throughout the game, even towards endgame. You will use him always. He summons horsemen to aid you in battle. But by now we're gonna scan the next area which is the Valley of the Gods and we will get closer to entering our first allied culture of Egypt. Now on this note I thank you all for watching and I see you on my next video.